Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat and it's time to play. We are back in Outpost Engineer. So let's see where we left off last time. We automated our tin plate production and let's just see how many we have. The game's been running for a little bit here between episodes, so we might have some stacked up in here. Nice. Let's grab a stack while we've got room in our inventory. And then let's also go, <laughs> let's <laughs> manually retrieve some copper like we usually do until we get that automated. Let's look at the data cubes. <laughs> There's none, even though this has been running for a while. Uh, and that's because it takes a ton of scans now to get a data cube from copper. So we'll let this run anyway. Uh, right now, my understanding is that the ore deposits are infinite. So we can just let that guy churn away. It's slow, but... Uh, it doesn't hurt. We'll just let this go do his thing. I wanted to automate the construction of, or the production of these stone uh, or rocks here. And so I think it takes stones to do it. And we have we a stone deposit. Let's see, this is all sandstone. So I don't know that we can use that. There's a little piece floating in the sky. This is pure sand. I think we will be mining this later. Let's see what else we've got. More, excuse me, more sandstone and more sandstone. So we've got tons of sandstone here. Ooh, look at this. There's, is that ore? Oh, we got all kinds of ore over here. All right, there's our iron. So we're definitely gonna be, definitely going to be setting up some mining over here. Now there's iron ore up here. I don't know that that's going to be useful to us unless we, you know, build a platform up high or something, or we can run miners uh, vertically <laughs> up the wall here. We'll see. But we've got a nice supply of coal here that can be used for power. Uh, what do we got here? Desert sand and a tiny bit more coal. I'm just looking around here. Uh, let's see what we've got. Tell you what, while we're doing a little bit of exploring, why don't we see if we can head up to the volcano and then we'll get back to doing our automation chores. <laughs> but uh, I think the next thing we want to do automation wise again is I want to put a mining drill over here, over this rock and see what we get out of it. And then hopefully craft those, uh, those, for lack of a better term, like base blocks or foundation blocks, uh, just so we can make platforms. So I'm just going to climb up this hill. I don't know if this is the right way to go. Here's some more iron. Oh, look at all this iron. Wow. All right. And we've got a bunch of tin here and more rock. Okay. We've got plenty of rock up top here. Now I think we can make it up here. I think. I've not done it yet. So this is my first time. Trying to get up here. Now we've got snow. I'm not sure how that is used. But uh, maybe we can mine it. Let's just see if I can mine that. That could be yet another resource that we can uh, feed to an analyzer. Did I get anything? Let's see in my inventory. Uh, I don't see any snow. So I must not be able to mine that yet. Maybe with a drill, it would work. All right, trying to find a way up to the top of the volcano. Ooh, okay, we were able to get there. Ooh, look at this. Check it out. There it is. Whoa, <laughs> I'm about to fall out or fall in. There is the volcano. Nice. Very cool. Surrounded by rock, it looks like, and basalt. Very cool. Look at that. Now, I'm not sure if we can use it. Uh, for anything, that resource, and if you look really close, it does look like that lava is moving a little bit. Very interesting. Nice, man. Very cool. All right, let's see. There's our satellite dish. Let's head back down and get back to work. We need, uh, we need to get some stone going. I don't think there's any fall damage. So we'll make our way down here. Let's go to our main uh, little setup, our main factory. I'll grab some coal on our way down. I don't think I need to grab any more tin plates. We already fetched some of those, but I'll grab, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll grab some coal for our smelter down there. 
or a furnace down there, I should say. And then I'll grab some copper too. And then we're going to need to craft another mining drill for the stone. Let's go ahead and fill this guy up with copper and keep him running. There's some coal. We'll grab the copper out of there. Let's get a mining drill going. Boom. That'll be for the stone. We're going to need power poles. We may need to go fetch some wood as well. Let's, uh, let's see. I've only got one power pole. I'm going to try and craft 10 more. And while I see it right in front of me, I am going to see if I can harvest some of these sticks. Let's get a bunch of these going. Because we're going to need these for our power poles. And we're going to be running power out to that stone deposit kind of near the shore. And so it's going to take a few of these. We'll also need to... Uh, Head over to the anvil and hammer out some copper wire so we can connect the power poles. I'm not sure how far apart they can go. Uh, we could try that. Just see. Grab a few more of these. Bear with me. I'm going to try and get to 40 if I can. And I don't know if there's a way to automatically harvest uh, wood. Is any of these wood products, the sticks or the uh, lumber. Not to see on that. I may ask on the Discord if there's a way to automate production of that. All right, we need, uh, let's see about more power poles. We got 10. That's not a bad start. Let's, uh, let's grab a couple more. Whoops, not those. Let's do, let's do these. Now, can I get wood blocks out of these sticks? I don't know. Wood blocks take lumber. I guess all these sticks I just harvested, I can't do what I thought I could with them. Bummer. Let's see. Well, we can use them for torches. How many torches do we have? We've got five on us. Let's use five more just to have them. And then, what did I say? We needed a mining drill. We've got that. Do we need conveyors for this? I don't know. We need a stone cutter. Right? Yep. And then we need at least an inserter or two. So let's see if we can craft a couple of those. Looks like at some point we're going to want to make some more bronze. Let's see here. Let's get the copper. Let's keep the copper going for now, but yeah, we're probably gonna need probably gonna need to make bronze at some point. Hammer out a few more of these uh, bronze gears. Check the inventory and just see if we've got what we need. We've got the let's see what do we have. We're crafting bronze gears. We've got the drill. We've got a couple of inserters. And we need that, uh, last thing we need is one of these guys, a stone cutter. Can I get that out of here? Yes. Five out of 16. I thought I built one of these. I guess I didn't. Let's go ahead and grab it. Conveyor belt. Okay. Oh, I need more stone. Jeez. I thought I had a ton of it, but we crafted it into those blocks and that's, uh, that's why I want to automate this. So we don't have to keep manually harvesting stones so bear with me we'll grab some more of these let's see it's not letting me come on Dude. Yeah, let's see if i need to have an empty inventory spot or something there we go Yeah, I don't want to keep doing this. This part is kind of tedious. The hand mining is uh, a little tedious. It's not bad. I wouldn't fault the game for it. I wouldn't say, hey, take that out because the whole drive is to get you automating. So if this was really easy and I could just take a pickaxe to this and get like 30 stones in, uh, in 10 seconds, then, uh, then there'd be less incentive to get it automated. But uh, because it is the way it is, I'm very motivated to automate 
this stone production so we don't have to do this and i think that's actually a plus in the game as long as you're not forced to do too much and i don't think we're having to do too much yet all right let's go make the stone cutter we've got to go back to our workbench to do that our crafting table let's head on over and then i think we can set out to do all of this fun stuff and get it automated guess we'll start by running the power out there. So let me get power poles. Got 13 of those. And I've got wire. I think we hammered out the wire. Let's go ahead and see about dropping a power pole. And let's just see how far it reaches. I'm gonna grab wire. Where do we have that? One of these toolbars here, boom. That's selected. Can you reach from there? Yeah, it looks like it. Boom. All right, that's pretty good. And then let's think about where we want to place all of our stuff. So here's a bunch of rock. Let's put uh, let's put a miner down. Let's see if I have one in one of these toolbars. I've been kind of sloppy with my toolbar use. All right, let's grab a miner. Pop them down over here, and then let's take our inserters here. And let's take our stone cutter here. And let's see if we can set something up here. All right, here is our miner. Let's do him. I'm sure he's in the stone. All right, now we want an inserter right away then we're gonna try our our dude hopefully he'll snap up oh he didn't snap up he snapped down all right we need to pop a block down do i have those i might have a couple yeah all right let's pop this up a bit right here and right here now let's go back to that toolbar that has the uh, stone cutter. So that to this, and let's set a recipe on this guy for rock. Hopefully this will work. Hopefully this will work. It's either gonna be concrete block, we're either gonna get rocks from that mine or we're gonna get concrete blocks. Let's, uh, let's, let's power up the miner and see what we get. Power pole over here, boom, nice and close. I think that will reach, boom. And let's do the wire. I'm not sure how far I can click. Nice, it's got pretty good range actually. Boom, and then boom to minor. That will snap on. All right, we are getting there. We are getting there, we're getting there. Now let's just see what we get. Looks like we're gonna get stones. Okay, so let's set the recipe here for stones into rock. Hopefully that will, that will work. Oh, I don't see him grabbing, come on. Can this not be fed? Stones into rock. Got that selected. It could, uh, you know what? I bet we need a, I bet we need a um, constructor here instead. Let's get rid of that. Let me grab this rock out of inventory. Let's go make a constructor. I bet that's what we need. Instead of the uh, kind of hand crafting it wood block. Let's take a look at our existing constructor. Where is that guy? That guy is way up here. Let's just see if we can take a look at the recipes on this guy. Yeah. Yep. 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 We've got rock right there. Cool. We're on our way. We are on our way. Let's go ahead and keep this guy fired up with copper. That's another one on the list that we're going to be automating. So we need a constructor. We've got the resources to do it. 
And let's just hightail it back to our stone deposit. And then we can automate those rock blocks. And that will be a good thing. And did I bring a copper box? Let's see. Inventory. I did not. Let's just get this going and then we'll go fetch a copper box. Drop our constructor down right there. He's going to need some power too. We'll come on in and uh, check his, oops, let's set a recipe for rocks. Okay, now he's going to start feeding in. And we can run a power cable here to that guy. Boom. Nice. Nice, nice. Now we need to go and fetch a, uh, I think a copper box, right? To get that going. So let's do it. And I think I managed, I got a bunch of rocks in my inventory now. Let's, uh, we might be able to process those. All right, we're coming by the copper mine. Let's go ahead and opportunistically take some of that. We'll pop it in here. I know we need to get some bronze going at some point. But uh, for now, we'll do that. I'm going to hammer out. Well, before I do that, let's get our copper container going. And then let's grab some wire. Get that crafting up. And maybe one more copper container. Why not? And let's go place that copper container. And then we will be accumulating the blocks. And that is going to help. Uh, do I need, I have an inserter. I'm going to need to put one more of those blocks down. Let's see where we've got them. Here we go. There's 10 right here and we're going to put it right there. And then we'll put our copper box down right here and an inserter right here. Nice. Very nice. All right. Another tiny step but uh important step for our factory so now we have these blocks being automatically made that's going to help a ton let's see how fast do these go let's see okay, he needs he should need four right so this should actually start slowing down yep I'm noticing network power is going down to 57 out of 58. I'm not sure if that means we're a little low on power or not. Let's grab the blocks we've got and let's think about the next thing we want to automate. We know we're going to need lots of belts. Um, we have not yet built an uh, assembler, right? That was our first thing that we unlocked from the satellite array. We noted that it takes two constructors and an inserter. Let's do that and see if we can get uh, conveyors automated. And why I'm slowing down in my speech is I'm just thinking through the different options we've got. So I definitely want to get conveyors and inserters going. And maybe mining drills we can do by hand for a little while here. But I'm kind of wondering if we should get copper and bronze and gears and some of that stuff automated next. Because the hand feeding of the copper is getting a little old and it's kind of boring for you guys to watch that as well. Um, so maybe we look at setting up a copper production. We've got a few more areas where we can drop mining drills here real close by. I think we can plop them down there and that ground will... Uh, terraform for us as we place it down. I don't know if we saw any other really large copper deposits nearby, but we can start with these. We'll let this thing just, we'll let this guy just run as it's doing now just to create the copper blocks. I mean the uh, data cubes, <laughs> it's slow. It's going to be really slow for those, but it's automated, so we don't have to really worry about it. It's just kind of happening in the background as we do our other work. So we'll let that be. We could take more copper out of here if we want. 
right? There's definitely a surplus of copper coming out of this mining drill. Um, yeah, in theory, you could run a belt and have a bunch of molecular analyzers doing copper, but I don't know that that's worth it. I want to kind of see if we feed a molecular analyzer kind of a higher tier product, again, like these tin plates that we're manufacturing where it takes a couple steps. I'm curious to see uh, what those do in the molecular analyzer. Like right now, we've, we're almost maxed out on plates here. We could, if we wanted to, we could put another grabber coming out of our um, constructor here and feeding a molecular analyzer like right there and just start feeding tin plates. That would increase our data cubes production. That wouldn't be too hard to do. Oh, check it out. I think we've got a sun setting here on the water. Not too bad. Looks pretty. It's about to get dark. Again, we've got plenty of torches on hand, so we can always drop some of those down. And again, I think later in game, there are some electric lights that we are going to unlock. So yeah, boy, I wish I was a live stream. I'd ask you guys what you think. If we should go ahead and pop down another molecular analyzer and just get more of that going. All I really need is a inserter and a molecular analyzer. And I might have to move this power pole a little bit. But then we're automatically getting uh, more data cubes. This is going to fill up very soon. This uh, copper box full of tin plates. So why don't we think about doing that? Let's look at the molecular analyzer. See what it takes again to craft that guy up. We need five copper blocks and bronze gears. I still have some bronze. Let's go pound out some more gears. It's another thing we're going to automate at some point. And then we do need to make more bronze. So why don't we take a break from the copper? And I'll just grab that out of there. I'll load up coal if I've got it. I'm going to put in some copper. I'm going to put in some tin. In fact, I might put in some more copper. Let's get some bronze bars going so we have a stock of those. And then I think I've got enough copper bars to hammer out copper blocks. Let's just find out if I can. Copper blocks are right here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we know we need inserters. So that's something that we're going to want to automate too. I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab two, two inserters. And let's see, we've got everything we need. Let's get that crafted. I think we can do it with just an inserter one inserter and dropping down this molecular analyzer. Hopefully there's room here to put them both. I'll just check my toolbars and see if I've got the molecular analyzer already on a bar. I don't see it. Let's go ahead and drop that down here. And let's see if there's room. Boy, it's tight, right? It's tight. I think I'm going to need to move that power pole. Or I could put it up. I don't want to put it up front. That looks kind of not so great. Let's move the power pole. Oh, will that work? I don't think so. We could try it. We could try it. Yeah, let's move the power pole. All right. Let's just keep in mind what this is connected to the constructor and just another power pole. Okay, so let's take this guy out. I'm actually going to chop this tree down. It's kind of in the way. I don't, we can use the lumber for something. And let's put down a power pole up on this hill a little bit. Looks like they have pretty good reach. So one more out of the way. We'll find some cable here. Boom, boom, and Boom. So now he's powered. And now our constructor is powered. And we should have room here now to 
pop down the analyzer. So let's give it a shot. That's a little better, right? Uh, let's see. Let me get it. Bear with me here. Is that one or is that one? Or is that? Uh, let's try it there. And let's see if, if uh, we're close enough. Oh boy, it's hard to tell. Boom. Nice. All right, we just need to power that and we're good. So I'm going to pick from this power pole. Boom. Down to our analyzer. Oh, and the last piece, we should probably grab a box, right? Uh, let's grab a copper box and, ooh, what are we doing here? We've got, yeah, we've got plenty more tin here. I don't want to cover up that area too much. So maybe we can get a copper box down here somewhere. Maybe even out front. Yeah, maybe out front here. Let's see. Do we need a block? We probably do. Oh, I brought another copper box and I brought a, uh, and I brought, um, an inserter, so we're in good shape. Let's see, I probably already got it on a toolbar. Let's pop down the box and let's drop down an inserter. I think that's gonna work, we'll find out. Boom, and we want to take from there. Is that gonna work or not? Maybe not. I have to shift these over just one. Let's do it. You can go there and hopefully you can go there. And this will take, let's take one by hand here and just see if this does it. Or wait, how, yeah, didn't we just run through this whole problem last time? Uh, does this thing kick out onto a belt? It does. Yeah, we got to kick out onto a belt. I may have to change the orientation of it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want it going that way. All right, let me take this stuff up and then we will reposition things. Hey, hey, there's a little guy right there. I hope I can take that guy. All right. Uh, yeah, let's reposition it so it's the other direction. And then we'll shoot a belt out. So we want like that. And I think, well, let's see if that works. Let's get the power hooked back up. Boom. Whoop. Okay. Boom. 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 Now, is he going to get fed or not? Or does he need to come back one more? I don't see this inserter doing anything. Now, let's make sure this guy's not full. He's not. Or was he? Okay, that guy does not want to feed him. So we got to come back one more. We will get it. And then we'll have at least another guy doing data cubes for us. And that's not a bad thing. Let's see. Do I have any belts? I do. And we want to reverse this guy. So it's like that. And we want to extend our, what I keep calling a platform out. And then we want our copper box here and an inserter here and i think that way and then we need power back to our our analyzer molecular analyzer boom to boom and now i hope we're going to be golden here okay i see a plate being analyzed okay three already at three I think we will still always have a nice supply here of tin plates and we may extend this line out we'll see what else we can use the tin plates for but at least we've got those easily accessible to us okay now we're on six same kind of thing. All right, let's grab the data cube. We'll run these three down there. We'll check this copper box, which probably doesn't have any <laughs> because it's so slow. It takes so many copper ore now. Yeah, it just takes a ton. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this in here. 
we can actually research our next uh, item if we want. And I was thinking, again, of just grabbing this iron processing. I don't have a need for splitters yet. It's only five research points. We can grab that when we need it. But I'm curious on this iron processing if it's going to unlock more machines. So we just hit 10 research points. I'm going to go ahead and hit this. It doesn't tell us. It doesn't provide us a hint until we hit unlock. Boom. Okay, what do we get? Nice. We got six more blueprints. Iron bars. Iron ore. Iron rod. Oh, I'm not sure what iron ore is. I think we already know about that. Uh, iron rod. Iron frame. Steampunk block. Cool. Can be placed and use the chisel to change the pattern. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then an iron door. Oh, nice. Sliding door opens as you approach. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. This is cool. Now, what research did we unlock? Now we've got four. Ooh, we've got quite a few choices here. Okay, we know about logistics and the splitter. We know about silica extraction. We had that before. Okay, Automation 2 grants you the manufacturer blueprint, which can construct large structures or products requiring more than three ingredients. We've got lithium processing, gain knowledge on how to electrolyze lithium and build batteries. Nice. So I wonder if we're going to get to solar here pretty soon. Usually batteries goes hand in hand with solar, so you can have power throughout the night. And we've got steel processing, gain knowledge on how to smelt steel. Okay, we had iron. We just did the iron processing. This one is about steel. That one's only a five uh, pointer. Automation 2 is only a five-pointer, and our logistics is a five-pointer. Cool. Nice. Very cool. So that was worth doing. We got three uh, data cubes by automating or setting up another molecular analyzer to, to uh, study these excess plates that we had on hand. So that worked out well. We could, if we wanted to, do a similar thing here and grab out iron bars um, or iron ingots, but it looks like they are all being used up right now. And the furnace is kind of slow. So let's leave that the way it is. Let's leave this the way it is. Look at that. Two more data cubes already. So the early data cubes come quick. When you first start uh, analyzing a new material, you get the data cubes fast, which is nice. But boy, it slows down in a hurry. Let's go pop these in. Get those research points going. That'll be two more for four. And now we're back at what to do next. I think we'll make that decision in the next episode. We're just about out of time on this one. So if you like what you see, if you like getting a look at these early, early access games that aren't even available yet, then do give this video a thumbs up and that encourages me to make more of this kind of content for you. Um, also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got a lot of factory games. Also have some colony and city builder games on the channel with more of both of those to come. So for now, it's Glider Cat signing off saying I will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.